Are you a morning person or are you an evening person? Do you wake up full of energy and ideas or do you find that late at night is when you're at your best or maybe you're a sort of middle of the day kind of person? I like to get up early in the morning and uh, that's been something I've trained myself to do as an adult. I guess naturally I would enjoy late nights but I've learned to get up early in the morning but what I've found is this I need a little time to wake up as the Oasis song says. Jackie on the other hand my wife she's a morning person she wakes up at a hundred miles an hour she has ideas her best ideas first thing in the morning she wakes up full of energy and uh, is definitely a morning person and in the early days of our marriage she used to say to me you just need to just the moment you wake up get out of bed get on with things and I said no I need I need some time so one day I decided I'm just going to do it early early on in our marriage I thought well I'm just going to do what she says I'm just going to get out of bed first the moment I wake up I'm going to get out of bed and get on with my day so this particular morning I woke up and I got out of bed immediately I walked across the bedroom straight into the wardrobe door I kind of recovered from that made my way out of the bedroom door to the top of the stairs set off downstairs lost my footing and fell downstairs I need some time to wake up I think one of my favorite proverbs is in Proverbs 27 where it says a loud greeting early in the morning is like a curse so for me I need to wake up I need to have a shower I need to have some tea or coffee I need some time to pray and then maybe after an hour an hour and a half I'm ready for food and some low-level human conversation and then I can get into my day the thing about being asleep is you don't know you're asleep do you we've been told at the moment to be awake or to be alert rather and that's good advice to be awake and to be alert to be alert to social distancing to be alert to not spreading the virus really important but there's other things I think we could take from that and think about well how else can we be alert how can we be awake there's a story in the bible where jesus takes three of his friends peter james and john up onto a mountain and it says he was praying and there they'd fallen asleep they seem to do that quite a bit when they go to prayer but in, in uh, luke's gospel chapter 9 it tells us about the the story of the transfiguration it says peter and his companions were very sleepy but when they became fully awake, they saw his glory. When they became fully awake, they saw something of the glory, the wonder, the weightiness, the, the majesty of the transformed, transfigured Jesus before them that lived with them for the rest of their lives. When we become alert to what God wants to do, life takes on a different perspective. And so I wonder in these days, are you, are you awake? Sometimes it's suffering that wakes us up, isn't it? Sometimes it's the love of God that wakes us up. I think in what we've been through in this pandemic and all of the implications, there's been a wake up for many people, a wake up for us to the importance of our mental health, a wake up to physical exercise and caring for one another a wake up for some of the heroes in our society who are sometimes overlooked, a wake up to our responsibility for the environment, a wake up to the love of God and the purpose of God. One of the top Google searches at the moment is around prayer because people are waking up to the importance of exploring the truth about God. I wonder are you awake to what God wants to say to you at the moment, to what God wants to do in your life. Stan Laurel in one of the Laurel and Hardy films, he says, I was dreaming I was awake and I woke up and found myself asleep. I think these days are days in which we're being invited to wake up, to discover what it is to be fully alert, fully engaged, in what God wants to say to us because God does want to speak to us. God wants to tell us of his love and his holiness, his plan for our lives 
his plan for our nation and the nations of the world, his plan for his church. God has good things in store for you. If you'll wake up, if I'll wake up to what he's saying and doing in these days. We might need a little time to wake up. It might be difficult to feel that we're fully alert and awake. But I believe these are times in which we're being invited to wake up. The Apostle Paul writing to the church in Ephesians says, Wake up, O sleeper, and Christ will shine on you. My prayer for you today is that you will be fully alert to God's purpose and plan for you, to his voice speaking to you, and that you'd have the courage to hear and do what he says. Have a fantastic day.